Hello everyone, Epic Eclipse here, and today I'm doing something that you may have seen on Reddit, but not know how to do. So, if you've seen it on Reddit, it's from What's Not Even Steven, I believe his name is, which is my friend, which you guys have seen in many videos, Tim. Um, so, you might have seen his post about playing on a user-created map. So, mine looks a little different, obviously. We were both um, basically working on it together and doing this. So, I'm going to show you basically anything that he didn't show you, which... He didn't really show you much so i'm going to show you basically how to create this um the basics i mean i don't really know much about udk and stuff like that and basically where you get the editing program and i will leave a link for that in the description so ooh, okay i need to fix that basically to start it off um rocket league uses unreal engine 3 not 4 point whatever or 4 in general what it's up to now so that's where a lot of people could go wrong at first, is trying to load it on UDK4, which won't work. So, let's go over everything, basically. So, if we get out of the game here, and quit out Rocket League. So, here's the map that I was just on. This is it. So now, I just made this little slope here which I may just raise another inch so it's not as like um there we go not as much as a little crack here so that's how um basically let's see how you do this okay so what you want to do is you want to create a cylinder do not create a cube because if you create a cu cube it'll make a wall that goes straight up instead of a wall that it's really confusing I don't know why it does it it does not work so don't do it so create a cylinder you can create it four sides here I created eight so basically my objective of this little map here is I'm gonna make it all sloped around the corners and then like it's gonna be like a little cool little dome and then maybe some goals eventually so basically what we're gonna do is um you guys we want you guys to create maps and then me and him are going to be working on, um, well, the coding behind the maps, making the goals work and everything like that. So we could eventually make out our own maps. So let me show you how you do this. So you take this thing here. And I'm going to shuffle it over here. And then if you press the space bar, you can, use, you can rotate it, which I'm going to rotate it. Uh, probably it's a 45 degree angle. And then use these little arrows here not much not very much movement that you get with this option wise um, kinda gotta fiddle with it a little bit to get it exactly where you want it and line it up correctly so that seems about no it's not right it's um, it's actually a little complicated to get this all lined up perfectly because it's kinda hard to see uh, no, it's not quite lined up either yeah, that's close enough. I think that might work. Yeah. So then we have this, and basically what you're going to do when you get this little square up um, is you want to go and go to, I just do collision type, and you want to press block all, and then you want to go to add volume, and you want to add a blocking volume. So... You have that, and then you go to this button here, and you click it, uh, and it makes this little slope thing. Well, I have it set to making little slope things, but you can be making whatever. So let me show you how you even make the cylinder. So um, I'll make a, a circle, and I'll have the radius yeah, of that, and we'll build that. Oh, I didn't want it to build like that. Wait one second, because I want to keep that. Is there any way that I can just build a new one? No, there's not. But basically, that's how you do it. And for the cylinder, I did that wrong. For the cylinder, you just do this. And I have it Z set to 10. You want to keep it low, so it's not like extra thick. And I have it as four sides. You can do as many sides as you want. Like for this, I did eight. And then that's basically how you do that it's not really too complicated it's a little bit to get used to but there's a couple other things that you need to do so first is you need to go and right uh, right click here 
and press add actor and you want to play press uh, add player start which are these little things and you want to raise them a little bit above the ground of the map so you spawned just kind of on top of it and also a quick note is you want to build it below the map because if you build it above it just I don't know for some reason it does not work and this is where your ball will spawn and then also uh, you want to go and edit the kill zone so it's not inst instantly killing you so you can make it as big as you want I think I have mine set to 8,000 so let's just take this and we will just create this little corner here too so it's like kind of filled in I don't know if I can select this it's a little fidgety sometimes uh, okay I believe I have it correctly here so do all right, let's see if I can just angle this one out at probably another 22.5. Yeah, that's that's half. Of, I think I'm doing the math right there. Uh, and then, yeah, just want to line it up in here. These two things. It's not quite. Uh, wish it had an easier way of... Uh, Ooh, I didn't want to do that. I, that's the one thing I wish it had. Oh, I can just do it like this. I didn't know that. Okay, it's a learning process for both of us because I've I've haven't used UDK three before, but I've used other ones. So basically, if we line this up correctly, which that looks okay enough for me for a rough map, then do that, and then look, we have another little slope. So this we've got a little kind of cliff thing here. So then we go. And I'll show you what to do next. So you save all. And then what you want to do is... Oh, first, let me tell you how you save it. So what you want to save it as, is I saved it out here. Is park underscore p dot upk. Because that's the files that you have to save it as for Rocket League. That's the file they use. Um, and you have to type it exactly like that. So what you want to do is copy this then, because you always want to have a little backup. Scroll your way down, and you'll come down to P's, and you'll see a park underscore dot UBK. You want to under name this to park underscore P dot back. So it's you can't lose this file. It's this one right here for me. This one's another custom map. You can also tell because look at the uh, difference in size. So then you'll delete this one and then paste in your new one. Uh, not delete it, you'll rename it and then you'll paste in your new one. And then you load up Rocket League. Also, don't forget to um, don't forget to change this all back when you're done. Otherwise, your game will crash. I don't know. I've never actually done it before, so I don't know what exactly will happen. I know your game won't work. But I don't know if they'll ban you or something. Um, so, go back to free play. And we should be in the map with the changes. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's not going to look pretty. I don't really know much about Unity and UPK. But people that do know how to use it, I'm sure you guys will be able to do this pretty well. So, ooh, okay. I, oh, yeah. See, you know what I did wrong there? Remember I said you had to set the collision and stuff? Well, you have to do that every time. So I didn't set it for that one, so it doesn't not work. So we'll have to go I'll have to go back and fix that. But the nice thing about this is now you can just kind of work on anything with kind of unlimited amount of room, make your own maps and do all that kind of stuff. And as we find out the coding and stuff that we have to do for like goals and all stuff like that. Wow, this isn't working either. That's a little This one uh for some reason is not exactly right on top it's a little glitchy so but it's all getting used to it and stuff and you know it was a lot of trial and error but try, try, ugh, my bad trial and effort no what's the I don't know what the saying is but you get what I mean so basically this is how you create your own custom maps and uh, let me know, send me pictures and stuff of what you guys create because I'm intrigued to see. And um, if you have any questions, just comment down below and I will be there to answer them. 
So I hope you guys enjoy this little secret thing about Rocket League and the new kind of thing we found out. And I will see you guys in the next one.